Hi everybody, this is Sir Pierre, back another day with another unboxing. Uh, the other day, I did the stupid mistake of putting my wooden uh, beard comb in my back pocket. So it broke, which makes me sad because this one was the easy one, easiest one to, to carry with me. But uh, the same day, I think it was yesterday actually, maybe, maybe, maybe two days ago. Uh, a company reached out to me and asked me if I want to uh, review their products and uh, in, in, if that case how much I would charge for it and I said I don't do that I always do honest, honest reviews I don't I don't take money uh, because then I wouldn't be totally honest I guess and uh, I wasn't too interested because I have the beard uh, grooming products at the moment that I like but when I found out that it's, it's a local company uh, they are uh, in Göteborg then I got interested because I always want to support my local dealers so I told him send me a beard comb and send me whatever you like and I will I will give it a try so the company is called uh, Mr. Beard Family and they have everything for both uh, beard and hair and uh, also shaving products I'm pretty sure and they had a really cool bag uh, for having you all your things in and I really like that bag so I'm gonna get that the next time uh, so I told him uh, send me things that doesn't smell too strong uh, they had of each product I think they had like three different smells and uh, citrus is the one that, uh, that I thought was most suitable for me. Uh, so here they have probably sent shampoo, beard shampoo, uh, beard and hair balm, uh, conditioner, sorry, not balm, and uh, beard brew, beard shaper. And a beard brush and a beard comb. Uh, so let me show you a close up. So uh, this video is going to be both unboxing and a review. So I'm going to try to keep the unboxing part short and then uh, end it up with the review. So here we have uh, Time to Shine Springwood Natural Product Handmade Conditioner. Yes, yeah, so this is the, the conditioner. And the products that I have today, I did a video about this like a week ago. Uh, the beard washing products that I have today is both shampoo and conditioner in one. And I would prefer to have something that is only conditioner. Uh, and this is only conditioner, both for hair and beard. And then we have the beard wash. And this is both shampoo and conditioner I'm pretty sure it doesn't say anything but yeah and citrus smell and then we have beard shaper I think this is yeah it smells citrus it doesn't smell bad beard shaper I should do this in front of a mirror, but I just wanted to know what kind of product it is. Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, like one of the products that I showed you last time. It's uh, easy to come in, I guess. And in this little bottle we have beard brew all right so this is the beard oil uh, beard brew why do they call it beard brew application wash your beard and face apply a few drops of beard brew in your hands and rub it between your palms so yeah this is the beard oil it doesn't smell bad at all good that's really good because I can't take all those products that want to smell like tobacco or whatever. 
And here we probably have a bit of brush. Yes, we have. A nice one. Good handle, sturdy handle. Oh, I like this one. I think I might have a new favorite here, actually. I like that. And the beard comb that I need to have with me on a daily basis. And as I said, the beard comb is... Here we have very large teeth. And the beard comb for me is mostly to uh, get rid of that uh, face mask beard that I get after wearing a face mask. So I usually just do like this to give some life again. Uh, so that's, that's what I use my daily beard, beard comb for. So yeah. This one was nice. Yeah, I like this one. So that's the unboxing. I got a couple of products to try. I'm going to try them out uh, tomorrow already. And I'll get back to you and let you know what I think about it. But for me, most important, they don't, they don't smell bad. Uh, smell like citrus. Yeah, not bad at all. I'll be right back or tomorrow. So my plan is to try different products, uh, different days, so I know what's what. And um, the beard comb is, I think the the gap between the teeth is too large. So this is mostly if you have like a really big beard, and it's too long, and uh, it's not something I'm going to carry with me. So I'm going to need to buy me another beard comb. The brush I really like. Uh, is my new favorite brush So yeah, I've been using that a lot and then I used uh, shampoo and conditioner today and I don't think there is conditioner in the shampoo so I'm glad that, that the center conditioner as well so this is uh, mostly for washing and the smell is strong just the second that you uh, get it in your hand and put it in your beard but it disappears quickly so it's strong but it disappears quickly so I wasn't bothered about it, by, by it at all and um, the conditioner had, had another smell springwood springwood wasn't something that I like I would prefer the citrus smell but same here it smells strong uh, when you just apply it but it disappears quickly uh, today it has been really windy in, in my city so I have got some hints of the smells a couple of day a couple of times during the day but it didn't bother me at all uh, some beer products as I said uh, in a other video uh, the smells they, they smell too strong so it really bothers me like when I'm eating and everything I only get that smell all the time I did not have that here uh, the condition is nice and it says something about making the root stronger with argan oil and everything and for some reason I don't know <laughs> I just feels like the beard feels filler today uh, I might just be imagining things but my beard looks uh, really good today um, a little bit better than usual so uh, the beard wash is for cleaning but uh, you should have the conditioner as well and I prefer to have uh, wash shampoo and conditioner separately so so far so good tomorrow I will try some of the other products all right the final part of the video Today I tried a beard shaper for a very short while. It smells good, the problem is not there, and it was comfortable brushing it in. Maybe I took a bit much, I like to overdo it, but it was nice brushing it in. But uh, then I felt uh, my allergies starting, so I read about it, and there is i think it was almond oil or shea butter in this one and almond oil in this one and i'm allergic to everything that has anything to do with nuts 
so uh, I will not try the oil sorry to say uh, and the beard shaper felt nice uh, but I am allergic that is one of my major problems when finding uh, beard products skin products just washing soap but the brush that I actually don't have here that I have in my jacket at the moment I'm really happy with it the conditioner is really nice today I did not use the conditioner and I miss it already uh, I did not use it just because I wanted to uh, start off like fresh with the beard shaper uh, yeah the shampoo is very effective I noticed that now when I had the beard shaper in me because it's, it's a sorry one bottle it's a sort of thick cream so I guess you're not supposed to use that much as I did um, but uh, yeah the shampoo got it right off and uh, the, condi the conditioner that I didn't use this time either because I forgot it here in the kitchen I'm gonna use that a lot I really like this one uh, so sorry for not giving you a real review of the oil um, all I can say is it smells nice and sorry for not showing you uh, but I overdid it anyway I took way too much uh, with, the, with the beard shaper but that's it uh, if you have any questions let me know check the link in the description for my blog post where I will post all the products that I have here and of course a link to, to their own website thanks for watching